Yo, what's going on everybody? Scotty Boots here, back with another video, talking Scream 6. It is officially official that we are going to get a sixth installment here. And uh, we're going to jump into the article here and go over this because there's some important information that's going to wrap around this here. Um, if you caught my last video, not that it was a Nostradamus prediction, but I feel that this was already confirmed by the um, filmmakers based on putting that little mini post credit scene in or pre-credit whatever of Ghostface coming through because that's what they did in the original trilogy. I still feel that they're going to plan this out as a trilogy here. Although that is not what's confirmed. Scream 6 is. But before we jump into the article, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up here. Click the bell for notifications. And let's jump over to this article and take a peek at everything. So this comes from Screen Rant. And this was officially confirmed a couple days ago. So a few days late with this here. But I do have some thoughts on this as well. So we got Scream 6 officially happening. Starts filming this summer. That is important. We're going to talk about that in a minute. We'll see if the article touches on this. If not, we're going to talk about this at the end of the video here because um, that is very important to note that filming starts this summer, and I will tell you why. Paramount and Spyglass Media are officially moving forward with Scream 6 and is planning to begin filming the horror sequel this summer. Super important that they're filming it this quick. Paramount and Spyglass Media are officially moving forward with Scream 6 and planning to begin filming the horror sequel this summer. Um, all right, going back, lots of word vomit, word vomit. Latest installment, simply entitled Scream, picked up a decade after the fourth film as Woodsboro comes under attack from a new person wearing the ghost face costume and primarily targeting Sam Carpenter, a woman with ties to the town's deadly past. The renewed killings capture the attention of original protagonists. Okay, this is all plot, plot, plot. The new Scream, hailing from Ready or Not, group Radio Silence has been a critical and commercial success since its release in January, and it appears... To only be the start, less than a month after hitting theaters, Paramount and Spyglass have announced that Scream 6 is officially happening. Thank you. The new installment will once again be held by Radio Silence's Matt Bell. I'm going to block or totally botch this. Matt Bettinelli Olpen. Can never get that name. And Tyler Gillett on a script from returning duo James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick with production slated to begin this summer. So we got the same team from the last one coming back. Um, Paramount and Spyglass wrote about the announcement in the following joint statement. We are tremendously grateful to the fans around the world who enthusiastically received our film. We can't wait for audiences to see what Radio Silence writers Jamie and Guy and Project X have in store for our Woodsboro family. We can't wait. <laughs> Scream fans are excited. Trust me, we want more. Long before the film hit theaters, the new Scream had been frequently described by the creatives behind it as a relaunching of the beloved slasher franchise, the requel, rather than strictly a sequel or reboot. In the lead-up to the film's release, many of both the new and returning stars had expressed their excitement to not only return for the fifth outing, but also their interest in coming back for more, with Nev Campbell confirming she'd come back if the script and story interested her. Given her, given her having been impressed by Radio Silence with their first go in the franchise, the door would appear to be very open for more Sidney Prescott in the near future. Hopefully more. And I've got some theories um, as to what they could do with the, her character moving forward here too. We're going to do that in another video coming up. That being said, while the writers noted they didn't set a plan for sequels to the new film, I call bullshit on that. The latest chapter in the franchise also carved a path forward with its new characters for Scream 6. I think they've got a trilogy plan, and again, that's why they shot Ghostface showing up very brief in um, that quick little credit scene. I, They did that for a reason because that tied in with the original trilogy. I am dead certain on it, and I hope one of them talks about it or something um, in a special feature just gets noted. I'm telling you there's a reason for that. Given the film's critical and financial success, having outgrow Scream 4s with over $107 million in less than a month since hitting theaters, it makes sense, Paramount. Okay, of course, they're going to do this because we're making money. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that is the article. So we're going to talk about this here just a little bit um, because this little nugget here about starting to film this summer is very important, and I will tell you why that is very important. If they want to keep this as meta as possible... And we'll just call this a sequel for now, not a new planned out trilogy. But just to tie this in, if you go back to the first Scream and Scream 2, those movies came out so fast. So fast, in fact, that Scream 2 released in theaters a hair less than a year after the first Scream came out. 
That's why it's important that they are fast-tracking this movie. If they're trying to keep this in line with everything, if they start filming this summer, they absolutely had something in mind with where they wanted to go. There's no way that they released this movie with no intent on where to go from this. These films have to be very smartly pieced together to kind of keep that meta-languaging in there. you got to keep everything secret and keep us guessing as to who the killer is. So they absolutely have an idea as to where this is going to go if they're fast-tracking it like this. They want to strike while it's hot. And I would not be surprised if they're going to keep this as legit as possible to do this meta-requel to what the original trilogy was, I wouldn't be surprised if we get an official announcement on that release date to either A, happen in December or very, very, very early January. I would bet that they're going to try and drop this um, within a year of when this last one came out. So that's my theory on this here. The fact that this is moving this fast, obviously they want to strike when the pot's hot with everything, but I think they want to get this movie out within a year of when the last one came out to kind of keep this in sync with that original trilogy. And beyond that there, um, to, to move this film this fast, I would imagine they've, they've already had to have had some form of a script ready to go or probably tidying things up to get shooting. And they're going to probably, you know, as far as editing these movies, it's got to be a fairly quick edit with this. It's not like there's a lot of special effects and things you got to do in post. It's just editing, getting things together, make sure the shots hit. I, I'm telling you, this movie's going to come out less than a year of when The Last Scream did. Expect December or very early January for this release date. That's where I'm going to kind of put my flag in the ground with and think that they're trying to really kind of tie this in from what that original trilogy was. And then we'll see if we get the trilogy. Again, when this movie drops, if we get that little sliver of Ghostface in that credit scene, to me, that's telling me that there's a trilogy. And that's what I think they're going to end up doing with this here. I'm excited for more. I hope you are all excited for more. The Scream franchise is, you know, if you look at all horror franchises, every single franchise out there, Scream easily could place the argument on this franchise as being the most dominant um, and just quality of films being the best horror franchise out there. That argument can be made 100%. You know, it's hard to compete with the original Halloween or the original Nightmare on Elm Street or the original Texas Chainsaw, you know, even if you want to throw Friday the 13th in there, which I feel that that's more of the inferior to the before mentioned three franchises there. But if you want to take as a whole, the entire franchise, all of those franchises, all of the horror franchises have duds in there. Scream has been quality. Even if you want to put Scream three below it just stands out as being the weak link of this franchise because all the other ones are so good. So I strongly feel that you can put Scream in that argument. Child's Play is another one you can put in that argument because they have consistently done great things with Chucky. And even the last series that they just did, um, that Don Mancini came back and did, I, th I thought was fantastic. They've done a great job, and I'm excited to see where that goes. So we'll see where they take this with Scream. I don't think this will be titled Scream 6. I still feel that this is going to have some kind of a subtitle to it. So to, to kind of stand on its own. If it's Scream 6, it kind of defeats the purpose of the requel languaging because now you're really continuing this on. I really feel this is going to be Scream something, Scream again, something like that, that they're going to give us some subtitle to it. But nevertheless, that's where we're at. Scream 6 for now is officially happening. We'll go with that as the working title for the time being, and we'll see where they come up with this. But expect a release date in December or early January. That's what I'm going to say. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Appreciate the support as always. And we will see you in the next video.